Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a modern template in PowerPoint which can be used for a title slide or a brochure design. Here I have used uh, something called a change management and give some contact details here and you can add some more titles here. And a background, I have used some image. And this is another slide with some uh, little bit uh, different design. So let's see how to create this slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to insert, shapes, select a rectangle, draw the rectangle to the right side of the slide, just covering this much area, make it no outline, go to format shape and increase the transparency level, reduce zoom in and then go to insert shapes, select a oval shape draw the oval shape something like this this also increase the transparency level and you can see this much area i'm just going to cut it select the rectangle first and then the oval shape go to merge shapes and say subtract you can see that much area got removed from the rectangle Press Ctrl D to duplicate. I'm just going to add one more object and give a different color. Bring it closer to the first one and then right mouse click, say edit points. And the center point, you can see that one and just drag it inside. So it will give you something, this kind of a shape. Again, press Ctrl D to duplicate and change the color to light gray or some other color of your choice and just make it towards the, the other side and end point again, just do the same thing. Remove the transparency level and send this to back and for this one also make the transparency level zero and and for this as well go to insert shapes select a rectangle again here i'm just going to add this rectangle to enter the the title shape outline make it white and you can make it somewhat thicker go to weight and increase the points and use a gradient field i have used a dark gray and a light gray combination and go to shapes and select one more rectangle this is where i'm just going to insert the image make it no outline here select the picture or image and you can select any image from your computer for example i'm just going to select this image and say insert and then send this to back and you can give some shadow effect for this and increase the blur size to give the 3d effect i'm just going to use a rectangle for this go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle and drag the points and then go to rotate say horizontal flip horizontal and just bring it here align it properly and give some dark color here dark blue and start sending this to back you can see it gives some a kind of a 3d effect there and for this also i'm just going to use some dark colors and make sure that it is aligned properly and then i'm going to insert the text now you can insert any text here. In this case, I'm just entering something called the change management. Yeah. 
use any font i'm using oswald if you don't have oswald go for some default font and give some spacing between the text and change the color to white and increase the font size as well sorry to blue color not the white and increase the font size and similarly you can press ctrl d to duplicate the text and add some other text also here i'm going to add some more text where i will say how to influence change management so i'm just going to type how to influence and bring it here exactly on top of change management and below also we can provide some contact details the mobile number the website or email addresses reduce the size and provide your contact details this can be used as a brochure also you can print this as a brochure or you can use this as a cover slide and then you can type your headline or a title here for example you can say annual report or some other title you want to enter it here I'm just going to add a line here if you want to change the color you can change it but I'm leaving it blue only but if it is not visible change the color of the line and then below I'm just going to add some more details so I'm just going to enter some uh, Latin text where I will type equals L-O-R-E-M within brackets 1 and then you can change the color reduce the size or whatever you want to do you can do with the fonts so you can see here if you want to add some more details you can add it that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye